Tim Adams with Semtech. And uh, when you get your XR or RX series routers, you're going to get a couple of cards in the box that talk about Airlink Complete or Airlink Premium or support offerings. Um, and there's a link on there for creating your Airlink Management Service account to put the routers in. We actually recommend that you don't wait to get your routers to create your account because the sooner you create your account, the, just the easier the whole process is going to be. So I just wanted to take a couple of minutes and walk you through the process of creating your ALMS account, what's involved, what isn't required, because I want that to be really clear. First of all, there's a link that you can get from the, the video description here. Uh, that's the link that you go to to create your account. And you'll see that there's three different data centers that you've got available right now. There might be more by the time you see this video. We are adding additional data centers for various different reasons like data sovereignty and, and residency. So right now we've got uh, the North American server, the Canadian server, and the European server. We will be adding Australia before very long. And so you're going to see that there are various different choices for data center that you've got. It's not really a hard question. Just choose the one that's most appropriate for where you live and where your data is going to be coming from. Once you've clicked on next, uh, then you're going to see that there's a checklist that says these are the things that you need in order to proceed. And there's a couple of things that are listed as optional. They are completely optional. You do not need them. Uh, so all you really need is an email address that's not already used for an account in ALMS and uh, you need to be able to confirm your data residency. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the form there and click continue and the account is not yet set up when you do that. What's going to happen after that is you're going to look at your inbox and you're going to get an email invitation to complete your account setup and verify your user um, password and, and your email address. So once you've completed that process, then your account is set up and we recommend that you go into the administration tab and copy the, the what we call a unique identifier account UID and send that to your reseller partner so that they can help you with getting your account uh, tweaked for your routers and, and also um, help with registering your routers and answer any questions you've got as you go through the deployment process. You can give them whatever level of access you want to. They can have full access. You can even make them administrators of the account for you if you'd like, but it's only you who can make those decisions. So create your ALMS account as soon as possible. Send the UID to your reseller partner, and you will be away to uh, getting started with your XR and RX series next generation routers.